it, it just wants to tell you that you're fin right on time. Right. You're right where you gotta be, man. Like there wasn't a thing that happened to you that was remotely wrong. What's going on YouTube family? Jared Bryce back here with another video on the Jared and James channel. And if you guys didn't know that, you know what to do. Subscribe to the channel right now. Be sure to like the video at the end, comment, interact with me. We appreciate all the support you guys could give. So for today's video, I want to talk about the concept of embracing your own journey and focusing on appreciating everything you're doing as opposed to wishing for someone else's journey. So. We all have unique journeys in life. We all have different ways of going about achieving our goals. We all have different ways of, of doing things. Like, I'm so like, ultimately, I'm, there's never just one right path. So, like, if you guys think about it, two plus two equals four, but so does three plus one. So, like, if you think about it like that, there's different ways to, to achieve the same goals. So, like, when it comes like, to vertical jump training, some of you guys, may absolutely love squats. Other of you may love deadlifts. Some of you may not even believe in lifting heavy at all. And like you guys may prefer to just like rely on like plyos and, and sprints and that type of thing. But like there's multiple ways of reaching your destination. So like don't let anyone tell you that like their way is the only way. So moreover, when it comes like to my whole like healing journey, there's plenty of tools that are available in the toolbox. So like for instance, sunlight, hydration, sleep, nourishment, and through food, through, through rest, taking certain detoxing supplements, and taking certain herbs, and like all that stuff has its place in my routine. But like for each person, there's actually different amounts that work for each person. Um, so like for instance, when it, when it comes to me drinking kefir, so like when I first started, I was only able to handle like a tablespoon of kefir without having stomach discomfort. Now, I'm able to have super large amounts of kefir, but like not everyone is able like to handle that. So it's so, so like, we, we all have like very unique circumstances and like we're all on our own path. So like whenever you're watching someone else, like whether it be an athlete, an entertainer, a musician. Whenever you see them super advanced along in their journey, just remember they also had to start somewhere and that might be exactly where you are right now. So like embrace the journey, embrace the struggle, remember that nothing worth having comes easy as I always say, and remember that like wherever you're at right now is exactly where you're supposed to be. So like for those of you guys who watched the podcast I was in a few weeks ago now, so like, first of all, like, I want to thank you guys so much, my friends, family, strangers, for all of these super sweet comments that like I received from that. Like, all those comments truly m meant so much to me, and they serve as like a constant reminder that like I'm on the right path, and I'm exactly where I need to be right now. So, um, so like, if you guys remember, at one point in the podcast, Jake was actually talking about how it's like right outside looking in you know if there is a god inside of me you know mm -hmm. it, it just wants to tell you that you're fin right on time right you're right where you gotta be man like there wasn't a thing that happened to you that was remotely wrong mm -hmm. every every single micro decision and and the the, the first doctor that flew over you know right. and then the other and every the medication you took and all the things it was like Perfect. Everything had to happen the exact way that it did in order for me to end up where I'm at right now with this incredible perspective on life, with all of this amount of healing I've already done, in order for me to establish all the, um, all the incredible friendships I have, in order for me to level up my life the way that I have, everything had to happen exactly the way it did. Like, so like ultimately, everything happens for a reason and nothing happened the way it shouldn't have because ultimately this was all part of my journey and this was all part of the path that, that I was meant to take. And I've also been using my free will, of course, relating back to, to, to the last video. I've been using it to take advantage of every opportunity I have 
and I've been using it like to become the best version of myself because ultimately and that's what I believe everyone's goals should be in this world and so I was also having a very interesting conversation recently with my friend Drew who you guys may remember seeing when I was at the gym um, a few videos ago and so we were talking about like some like super deep spiritual topics and one topic that happens to come up was the idea of like why some people are born into suffering especially if everything happens for a reason so like we started off talking a little bit like about like reincarnation which is like totally separate topic I'll say that like for another video so like as you guys know I totally believe every input has an output giving myself like the right inputs like every day and then ultimately like my, my definitely you know like like one day it's all gonna pay off like I'm gonna get back to feeling all better and like it's ultimately up to you um to heal yourself and it's up to you to like do everything in your power and to achieve all your goals with no excuses but like when you think about like then how does it make sense that like some people are born into suffering so like the conclusion that we ultimately came to is that Maybe that's actually part of their journey. And I believe everyone could ultimately fight their way out of suffering. And also, truthfully, suffering is ultimately relative. Like, the quality of life in the United States, you'd think is actually so much better compared to like third world countries. But like, then why is it that like the United States has like, has like probably the highest levels of depression in the world and like we have all this wonderful technology and like we have all these amazing things but like all that is just like material stuff but like when you think about it, like a lot of people who are born in these third world countries are super happy because they don't know anything um, anything different and like they're able like, to have like this ultimate like appreciation from for everything that like they do have and plus, um, they also like, tend to spend like a lot more time in nature, and so they're ultimately a lot more like connected with like the natural world, and they don't have to deal with like um, a lot of the problems that we have. But like, obviously, they have like um, um, a lot of um, their own problems. So, moving along, as I said before, we all, we all have our own paths, we all have our own journeys, and I believe everyone is capable of being the hero of their own journey. So like. As I always say, we need to stop outsourcing our power to others. We also have to stop looking at like others' journeys as being better than our own because your life is yours. Your life is your medicine. So like, it's up to you to take advantage of every opportunity that, that you have and to remember that like God's plans are sometimes even greater than like you could ever dream of. So trust that, embrace the journey, follow your own path, and also like, keep in mind your journey may end up changing multiple times throughout your life. So like you may first think that like your purpose is to do one thing and then it turns out to be totally different, but like you still end up impacting people and you still end up with like this incredible life that like 10 years before you never would have thought was meant for you. But like, trust the process, allow life to present you with all these wonderful opportunities and stick with it because ultimately there's no such thing as a life that's better than yours. Learn to accept your journey, have gratitude throughout it, and, and keep following your path. It may have to change multiple times, just as it did like with me for instance and when I first started healing with the help of my first naturopath who turned out to not have the complete knowledge to help me and like wasn't focused on like the, the, the holistic everything nature and healing but then by going all in on that I was ultimately able to find out what I was missing and then I was ultimately able to find Victor Cazetto who's been guiding me back to healing myself and, and to understanding everything that I've been going through in my body and so and just um, some more things that like um, I wanted to add like it's like what I was saying before so also like some people get married and have a huge family with a lot of kids at the age of 25 other people don't get married at all like I mean, like both people can be perfectly happy so and then some, some people like heal from all their traumas at age 30 other people can heal um, at age 60 and, and some people don't reach their goals until age 70 while other people reach most of their goals at the age of 30. But, but like, remember, your journey is for you, your life is your medicine. So like, doing it, whatever is best for you in that moment, 
is going to be what's right for you and that's going to be the journey that you're going to take. So don't wish for someone else's journey. Stop over comparing yourself to what everyone else wants you to do or like to what like society standards tell you to do. Follow your own journey. Be your own best judge of who you are and like I guarantee you do, doing that will make you much happier than the person who, who's just doing everything to conform to what everyone else thinks they should be doing. So also, there's definitely always going to be times through your journey where like initially you're like questioning why did this happened to me? Why have I been put in, in these difficult circumstances? But then as time goes on and you start finding the meaning in everything and you start finding more of your purpose, then when you look back, everything all makes sense to you and you understand why everything had to happen the way it did and it couldn't have happened any other way in order for you to become the person who you are now. The journey is yours, so embrace that, love it, and get more in touch with it and understand why you're going through what you're going through and then it's up to you, mold it into whatever you want it to be and also accept what is right now, be the hero of your own story. So I love you guys, catch you guys in the next video, make sure you subscribe to the channel also, peace.